Okay, welcome to part two. Yeah. Continue. That was just like a second ago when I actually said stay tuned for part two. Whatever. So, going back to what is now we're going to Norfair. So I got the bombs. Lamp oil, rope, bombs, you want it? Whatever. Oh, those silly YouTube poops. Actually, this is not where I'm supposed to go. It's the little hallway after this room. What the hell? Want to be, sorry. Now you don't you should probably have the power grip to get this, but it's a lot of and maybe the high jump, but you can get this early with some good like wall jumping skills or well, not wall jumping skills, but just good enough skills I guess. Well, yeah. It's certainly hard to get out of there. Or it can be tricky. I guess my problems with Let's Plays are that I'm just not sure what to say at times. Get a morph ball, thank you. I don't know why I said that a second after I actually got through the tunnel, but... Okay, hold on, quick drink. Also hate about Let's Plays is that my voice, like, my throat becomes scratchy within, like, a few minutes of, like, constantly talking. I don't know why that happens, but it does. So, going to Norfair... Said that already, so that was just stupid. Okay, well, I should get up there. I wish my, I wish my, yeah, I mean, my controller's D pad could be better, but hey, I'm not using the keyboard at least. I don't know how you're supposed to play this game with a keyboard because it only limits you to like three buttons at a time at once, which you can use. It, you, you, you're limited to only using like three buttons at once. So, like, you can't hold, like, the L button, or what's this map to the L, the, the Game Boy Advance's L button on your emulator. So, like, shoot at an angle, then shoot a missile while at an angle, while jumping, if that makes sense. No, I want to get up there. Sorry, I have, I, have, I have OCD to, like, bomb the other part. I have, like, well, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Just out of OCD sake, I'm supposed to go this way. If I could like directly, uh, I just like. Con now you can get up to this uh, missile tank earlier. What, what the hell? Oh, stupid emulator controller. You can bomb jump that way, but I just find it easier to just spam your bomb button until you eventually get up there because that, uh, that also works. That's really easy to use, or it's easy to do it that way. I guess you could say. And then, uh, yeah, not sure what else is to say. Going back on topic again, another thing I liked in this game, rather than Fusion, I mean, it's not really pers me personally, but uh, it's just cool how you can uh, you can sequence break again, because in Fusion it's like completely linear, you have only one way of beating it. I mean, there is a sequence break you can do, but they intentionally made it, and it doesn't do anything. It's just like a little Easter egg, which sucks. Oh, fuck, fish. Sorry, it's a little fish of death right there, and it does like 30 damage, which is insanely high right now. And, uh, just wall jump like that, and just skip that, having to wait for that block to appear so you can stand on it. Okay. Right here's a block I can't get yet, and there's a missile expansion. Missile tank, sorry. Missile expansion in the Prime games. Okay, incompatible with the current suit, and that's the first unknown item in this game, which abs does absolutely nothing, but will be insanely awesome later on. Another problem I had while trying to like record this is was Visual Boy Advance itself, which is the emulator I'm using. I'm actually using VBA M, which is a modified version of it. And, uh, what I like about this one is that the game actually plays smoothly at 60 frames per second, or roughly. Like, the... Even if the frame rate drops a little bit, the actual gameplay doesn't, like, slow down. So it's con it's like a smooth experience, somewhat. 
here. You're getting the power grip, which uh, you can use to grab ledges. That's on. You automatically had this infusion. Well, it wasn't really an upgrade. You just had the ability to grip things. Okay, I'm trying to wall jump off of this thing. I'm doing a terrible job at trying to. Damn it! Stupid D-pad. There we go. I was going to do it to get ahead of the freaking platforms or whatever, but whatever. Blame my controller for that. It's not me that's having the problem either. Like, I'm good at wall jumping. I can wall jump easily and, like, in the act playing on my actual console, but whatever. Enough of that, and there's your ship. Yeah, yeah, in this game you can get go up to the surface or Craterio, which is the region that it's called. Because and in the original Metroid, this place didn't even exist. You just stayed at Brinstar. So it's more of an homage to uh, Super Metroid, I guess. Or, not really an homage, but it's just like... That's where this area came from. Or, at least the, what's found in this version. Let's go back down. God, this game is going to be a lifesaver. Which, so I can keep talking. Alright. So this game, for the most part, is pretty easy. Unless you're playing on hard mode or trying a 10% run on hard mode, which I don't know how is that's humanly possible. Apparently, some people have gone like a 9%, which is fucking like ridiculous. It's ridiculously low rate. Speaking of low percent rates, uh, apparently Parixade or whatever the fuck his name is uh, did the world's first, or not? The, I don't know if it's the yeah, I guess the world's first, but it's the he did the very first 21% uh, run of Metroid Prime, which I believe skips the space jump boots now, and that's crazy. I mean, I think any low percent run's crazy enough, because I'm not that kind of guy that does, like, extremely low percentage runs, but still, though, you got to hand to these guys. They're crazy. <laughs> Especially if you're trying to speedrun. You know, do all these ex exploits to, like, completely break the game in order to uh, be able to beat the game at that short percent to the first place. Apparently you could do a 0% run of Metroid Fusion, which is holy crap. I'm not sure how you're supposed to do that, but whatever. So I can now progress to this side of Norfair. Uh, yeah, save. Wow, 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 wow! Should, I should, like, skip them or something. I mean, I have save states too, but whatever. Now, there's a missile expan missile tank. Sorry again for those of you who are like that anal about it, but I eh, might as well try it. Ah, oh, wasn't high enough. Crap. Hopefully, I'll skip that. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Sweet. Now you can go back and get this after you get the ice beam, which is I'm actually getting right now, uh, to freeze that enemy that jumps out of the water. Well, first you have to blow a hole in the floor so it'll jump through. You, so it can, like, jump through it and, like, give you uh, more of a higher platform to stand on so you can actually reach the damn missile tank, but I don't know what was with that. Unnecessary cuss word, but oh, whatever. It's a damn. It's not a shit or a fuck. <laughs> and I just said that those in, as nouns, which is weird. But okay, get on this stupid thing. There we go. Also, like in in Metroid Zero Mission, how you don't you start off the game with like enough energy, or like I don't know. It just it's it's way more forgiving, because the original Metroid is frustratingly hard, because you start off with, like, only 30 health, always, it's easy to gain, a, a, like, a ton of damage, and, uh, fuck, it's, they don't, like, the enemies that you kill don't drop that much energy, whereas they do in this game, it's easy to recover all your energy back if you need to, because of those, of the Chozo statues, or with the, uh, just, like, grinding on those respawning enemies, but whatever. So I'm running out of time again, so uh, 
Well, it's 20 minutes. But... I have, like, one more or two more minutes left. I'm not sure, though. Okay, enough of that. I don't know why I haven't sped any of this up, because I actually have this... I have this... I can press the speed up key on this emulator so I can speed through all this crap, but... Oh, whatever. And there's me failing. And I'll see you guys in part three.